Okay, everybody, I am so excited today because I am joined by Aparna Brielle, aka Tina in Fubar, which is out now on Netflix. So make sure you watch the full season first before this interview because we're going to be talking some spoilers here. And I mean some serious spoilers. Uh, Aparna, first off, how are you doing today? Um, I am on cloud nine and I don't, I like everything feels surreal. I'm honestly so thrilled to be here and I'm also so excited I can finally talk about spoilers I've been waiting it's been so hard I'm not gonna it's so hard I'm so excited to share. yeah so that that's why I'm like giving like a big big warning because like you have really the biggest twist of the season happen with your character yeah. with Tina in this last episode and she gets this call and she's like I can't talk right now in the middle of something in Russian so just clear it up because everyone's gonna want to know this now like, is this not real now? Is like, is Tina not really into 70 movies? Is she a nerd for real? Is she even into Barry? Like, what what's going on here? Is she even into... No, I think that... um, I think Tina does like 70s movies because they're awesome. So, I mean, like, the movies that she named are all amazing movies. But, um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I don't know that I, I don't know how to say what is or isn't real about Tina because we're still de- like they're working the second season out. But I do think that there is a real connection with Barry. I do. I think that there is um, a fondness and a kindness. And he just has he's just so open with his heart. And that's not something that Miss Double Agent Tina has been very exposed to in her life. So I think it's kind of like suddenly like, oh, no, what do I do with that? I like you. Uh, oh no <laughs> and now we're right gonna, right burned. we're kind of screwed you know? yeah no it, it's wild because it, it throws you for a loop because we're learning about tina and she's in this great like relationship we get attached to with her and barry <laughs> and then this drops on us um which is exciting though it makes you look forward to what's going to happen with her next and i'm interested too maybe i'm looking too much into this was there a little hint early in the season that something else was going on with Tina because to me I remember in an earlier episode she shows up randomly to a meeting and there's no explanation is that a hint or is that something I'm looking way into um well no I think I mean maybe both um <laughs> she she kind of starts out this is the thing like she is a young NSA analyst she is smart and clearly like good at what she does and she's just brought on to help early on with the situation but I think the reason that you start seeing her showing up more and more is because this mission becomes so like covert and classified that it's on a need to know basis. Those people who have already kind of been involved with the mission are the only ones they want involved. And so Tina does kind of get swept up, which I think the Russians were not expecting and she was not expecting. Mm. And they're like, oh, this is kind of great because now you're in with like the most senior level group here. Tell us what you know. Oh, that, that, that's interesting. I like that answer. And from an <laughs> acting standpoint, did you know the twist from the start? And did you play the character in your head from that angle? Or was it easier not even to really think about that part of her? I did know the twist from the start. I actually knew the twist when I was going to do the callback, our showrunner told me. And then I, I was just sitting there in shock. I was like, well, how am I supposed to record this now? I need to like process this for a minute. Um, but she, I, I did... I did all of this prep work and learned all of this stuff. And then I was like, I don't want anyone to be able to tell because I feel like if you're thinking about it, everyone can read it. So I kind of just threw it all away. And um, I I figured when we see the real Tina come out, like the whoever that is, because she's kind of got a million identities in one. Um, I feel like when we see that real person, that's where all the elements are going to come together. And um yeah, I just, I wanted her to blend in as much as possible, kind of be a low energy version of me. <laughs> yeah, no. And kind of like let the layers come, come or let the layers get peeled back for, for people to see. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it makes total sense. That's, that's a great approach for that. I really like that. And did you guys film most of your scenes in order or was it kind of out of order, your filming schedule? Uh, it was we it was out of order for a lot of things especially in the cia rooms or you know any of the cool like office sets we were in we did do i think largely the episodes were sort of in order when we shot so i kind of did get to build into it i did join in the second episode so like tina i kind of felt like i got to ease in while everyone was already in their zone um which i really i felt like i had an advantage there i was like oh you guys laid it out for me but um yeah, by the time I got to the last thing we shot actually was the the Russian card game episode. So like that was the very last thing I shot, period. And then it was like 4 a.m. and then I'm flying home. So I remember like um 
it was kind of cool leading up to that moment although it's not quite the finale um because i really got to reveal a lot there i think yeah and it's i love you bring that episode up because I, I absolutely loved episode six for tina and it was very like casino royale-esque um <laughs> now i i want to know though did tina have any guilt for poisoning the wrong guy here and did you feel like you were in a bond film on set that day <laughs> tina did not feel bad um which I kind of, I wanted, I hoped the audience might pick up on that a little bit because she kind of just poisons him and then like gives a look and walks off. <laughs> because I think I wanted that to kind of be, you know, this, the, the Russian card game was interesting because there were other people showing up like this other Russian agent that she wasn't expecting to see there and there are little cracks in the facade now. So I wanted people to kind of see maybe there is something not wrong with well maybe there is something wrong with her and yes I did feel like I was in a Bond movie I felt like a Bond girl and it was everything I wanted it was so much fun I could be on that set with those people forever <laughs> it yeah <laughs> no it was awesome I felt like I could watch even a whole spinoff show with you and Barry doing missions like that which is really cool um so well Tina's <laughs> yeah. oh yeah he's great you guys just kill it together on screen and yeah and there's more to learn about Tina which I think was the best part that revelation at the end of the season so is there anything like does it excite you a lot now for season two and is there anything you would really like to see like in your idea of like maybe what could happen with Tina yeah I'm I'm honestly so so hyped for season two I have um I've been told a lot of the ideas that that they have for Tina and um kind of the reveals and the things that I get to do next season including stunts including Ooh. you know like really showing everybody her other personality and like and I, you know, my dream situation and Monica and I've talked about this a bunch, but I was, I was always hoping for a little girl fight where we were fighting against each other. And then there's a big or bad maybe. And then we both have to like reluctantly team up. I, please use this idea. I hope that they <laughs> I really like, I've begged the, the showrunners as many times as I can, but no, I really like, I think they're like there's a world of potential with this character and next season I mean I got to flex quite a bit at the end of this one but I think next season we're really gonna see so many different layers and I'm I'm pushing for all of it give me all the homework I don't mind working extra hours I feel like it'll be worth it and so fun <laughs> so. yeah absolutely so everyone again just watch your partner crush it in Fubar. It's out now on Netflix. Tell your friends, your family members to watch it. It's so great. You get to watch your just kick ass with Arnold Schwarzenegger. What more can you want? Aparna, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to talk to you in the future one day. Thank you so much. This is lovely. Bye. Thank you.